friends. For today's vlog, I have something different. I know I've only done one vlog so far, but it's different than the last one. Um, I have a baby bag that I'm going to open. Um, so, in case you don't know, uh, whenever you sign up for a registry, a lot of registries anyway, they have certain things, circumstances you have to do to get a free baby bag or baby box. Um, and so today I'm going to open up Target's free baby bag. Um, and honestly, I'm using a different uh, website for my registry just for to have one registry, but I made a Target registry just so I can get the free bag. But I'm excited because I've watched uh, reviews of it on YouTube and I've heard that it's like the best baby bag. Like it comes with multiple full-sized items, which is so fun. Um, a little bit of update before I get started. Uh, for Christmas, um, Christmas was a couple weeks ago and Aiden and I um, used some of the Christmas gift money that we got to buy a few of our first baby items um, in preparation for our foster care license. Um, yeah, if you don't know, if you've never been, uh, watched one of my videos, uh, Aiden and I, my husband and I are, um, becoming foster parents, we're getting our license. We started a process in maybe November, um, yeah, and we've been working to complete all the forms, and we're working through the training, uh, the biggest one being the 24-hour training, which we're in, like, section two out of, I don't remember. Maybe eight. I don't know. But we're making progress. Um, yeah, and we've started to prepare our home. So a few of the things that I got, we got with our Christmas money are um, outlet covers, because most of our outlets have to be covered uh, to have a baby. We're getting licensed for zero to one. Um, outlet covers, my employer bought us our crib, which I'm so excited for, so grateful for. Um, but it came in the mail last week, so we have that laying in a box in our room. Crib, and since I knew we were getting that, I bought uh, the mattress and two, a pair of sheets for it, and the sheets are so cute, I love them. Um, what else? And we got a changing pad for on top of our dresser. Oh, and some baby washcloths, which we are actually using now because... We want to use them in the kitchen just like as sort of a replacement for paper towels so that we uh, use less waste. So that's a goal that we have also. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about those. All those things have come and I received my Target baby bag. Um, so yeah, let me tell you about that. The stipulations for getting the Target baby bag are you have to create a Target registry. I think you have to, I don't know if you have to put items on your registry, maybe like 10 items or something on your registry. And you have to buy $35 worth of stuff from Target online, but it doesn't have to be things from your registry, it could be anything. Um, but that's really just to cover the cost of free shipping, um, because the baby bag, I think it was like 5 cents that they had me pay, which is like nothing. Um, but they won't ship something at all for, that costs under a certain amount, I think. Don't quote me, it, it's fine. Um, yeah, but so I bought a little over $35 worth of stuff um, and I was eligible, so I got my free bag back in the mail. I also got another one. Um, our main registry is on babylist.com, which is great because you can add things from any website and then um, it also, like any item you add, it'll show the price on the different websites it's available on. So you can compare and pick the best one. Um, yeah, so I love that so far. And I also got their free baby box, which I'm going to do a different video on and show you guys what came in that box and tell you about how to do that too. 
Um, yeah, but especially I want this video to be for other people like me who are becoming foster parents. Um, and it, it can be for other first time parents too, or parents in general, but who are becoming parents of a baby, but especially a foster child because, you know, I don't have the experience of being pregnant. That's, that's not how I'm getting a baby. <laughs> um, and so there are some things that I know come in these baby boxes and baby bags that won't apply to me, such as like nipple cream. I don't need that. <laughs> or some other nursing related things or like stretch mark cream. Like, I don't need that. But I'm hopeful that there will be enough other stuff to make it worth it and still exciting for me as a non-pregnant, soon-to-be parent. So, let's do it. Let's get started. I got this bag two days ago and I've been so, like, just ready to open it. I love opening gifts and surprises. So, I'm really excited. And I, I tried really hard not to peek when I did look at one thing because I knew that it would probably be in there. I just wanted to see what kind it was. Anyway, let's do this thing. So this is the Target baby bag. Um, it's a pretty cute bag and we can definitely reuse that for some, some things. Okay, I'll show you first the thing that I already saw. A bottle! Full-sized 4-ounce bottle, which, you know, bottles come in bigger, they come in up to eight ounces, sometimes nine. Um, but four ounces is honestly plenty for a newborn. Um, and even up to a certain age, like they don't drink that much in one sitting. Uh, so four ounces is great. That's totally fine with me. And this is Dr. Brown's. Here we go. Dr. Brown's, uh, which I've heard is good um, and it has this little green spout in there that's supposed to help with like um, gas it helps like not get as many air bubbles in baby's stomach <laughs> um, yeah but got a lid a little nipple a size one which means it's like the smallest nipple opening um, yeah Great, I'm so excited to get my first bottle. Woohoo! Oh, something else I got recently, not, I didn't buy it, but um, on my local Buy Nothing group, I've been just browsing for baby things occasionally, and someone was giving away a burp cloth, and it's like muslin and really thick and nice fabric, and it's um, orange with like little hedgehogs on it. It's so cute. She dropped it off the other day, so I washed that and have that too. Okay, next, big thing, Huggies, little snugglers, size one, and there are three diapers in there. So for us, we are really hoping to cloth diaper our little ones um, as long as someone helps us out on our registry by maybe buying us a pack or two because they are kind of expensive but a lot cheaper in the long run, which is what we're going for, and it's so much more friendly for the environment. Um, yeah, but since we are going to be foster parents, uh, we're going to use disposal diapers for like visits with their family, um, just so the family doesn't have to deal with like n knowing how to use a cloth diaper, because a lot of people don't, um, and also then they won't ruin our cloth diapers by like using the wrong kind of diaper cream or something. So yeah, this is a great little pack of three diapers to send in the um, visit bag for families. So that's lovely. Next. Okay. Okay, this is a little packet of Dreft, which is um, the laundry detergent that is, you know, sensitive and good for babies. I've heard good things. Um, yeah, it says one use, but I've also heard from other people that it's kind of a lot in there and you can use it for two, really. So, there's that. 
<laughs> What's this? Um, some baby lotion. Johnson's baby lotion. Um, is it non-scented? I can't tell. But yeah, and that's a pretty nice sized uh, sample. 3.4 fluid ounces. That's small enough to go on an airplane. Well, that's awkward. I finished filming the video and then I realized that my camera stopped filming partway through. So, here I am again. <laughs> we had just finished, okay, with the lotion. Yes. Lovely. Okay. Next thing is some 100% virgin coconut oil baby wash and shampoo. Um, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, a fair trade shea butter with sweet pea and Muru Muru, whatever that is. I don't know. Yeah, Muru Muru. Um, yeah, but that'll be lovely. We have a little bit of baby shampoo uh, in case we don't get any by the time we get a faucet baby. Okay, next. Boogie wipes. Okay, so I've heard from other people that these are good. Um, Personally, I'm kind of like, I can just use a regular wipe, <laughs> but it says, uh, clean and dissolve boogers and snot. So, I guess it's better for boogers and snot. Okay, I don't think this is something I would buy on my own, but I'll definitely try the sample. And there's a coupon for a dollar off or something, so, eh, I'll use it, but probably won't buy it on my own. Okay. Alright, here is our first thing that doesn't apply to me. Sadly, it is a breastfeeding supplement, Upspring Milk Flow. Um, yeah. So, you know, like I said, it's kind of the unfortunate thing about these that they don't really make them for people who are fostering or adopting, um, who aren't pregnant. Uh, yeah, so I will try to find someone who can use this to give it to. Great. Alrighty. There's another bottle, which I already opened, but the camera died, so the plastic it was in is over there. <laughs> so this is a MAM bottle, uh, which I've heard good things about. I've heard it's pretty good. Um, four ounces, a little more. In milliliters. Um, yeah, and this one actually has a zero, size zero nipple hole, um, which I didn't know that existed, honestly, but maybe it's really good for really little, little newborns. Um, but also inside there's a little pacifier, so yay. Uh, it just makes me so excited to be starting to gather things that I will need for having a baby. It's just, I'm so excited. Okay. I'll try to keep it down. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, the next thing is a sample of wipes. So water wipes specifically, which I've heard are great and people love them. They're made of 99.9% .9 water and a drop of fruit extract. Um, yeah, but I've heard they're really good and there's 10 of them in there, so that's great. Um, and that's another thing that we'll use for uh, the trim the visit bag, the family visit bag, because um, we plan on using cloth wipes along with our cloth diapers. So, great. Still something we need, but that's lovely. Next. Okay, there's another sample of wipes uh, from the Honest Company which I have also heard great things about. I use these wipes and diapers with the girl that I nanny for right now. Um, they're plant-based wipes and also over 99% water, so less chemicals in on your baby, which is great. There's also 10 wipes in there, so another great one for going um, with the visit bag. Um, and it's great to send the sorts of things that a parent would need to take care of their baby while they're in their visit to set them up for success. So, yeah, I'm happy to do that. Alright. 
Okay, here's something that I don't need as a non-pregnant person, but it is two breast milk storage bags and two disposable nursing pads to sample from Lansanoa. Lansano? However you say that. So, yeah. Again, I'll try to give that to someone who can use it and would love it. Okay, one more sample. And this also doesn't apply to me, sadly. It's a stretch mark lotion, Palmer's, which I've heard is a great brand for someone who's pregnant. And I'll try to give that to someone who can use it. Yeah. And then the last thing in the bag is just a... I thought it was a coupon uh, booklet, but... It's not. <laughs> it just tells me where I can find the online coupons, which is interesting. But, <laughs> yeah, there it is. It tells me to go to Target.com and get Target Circle, which I have, and find the offers under AB Registry. So, good to know. It's kind of fun to look through a coupon booklet, though, you know, so. Whatever. It's fine. Overall, I feel like that's a really good, really good bag. Um, it's the first one I've ever opened, so, you know, in my limited experience. But, uh, yeah, two full-size bottles, and some lotion, and two wipe samples, a diaper sample, some other things. That's pretty great, and especially as a foster parent. So there were three things that apply to pregnant people. But then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus if you count the pacifier that was in the man bottle, ten things that are for baby and that work for me as a soon-to-be foster parent. So I'm really happy about that. Um, yeah, I don't have many updates on our process. We've done some more training. Um, we're learning about how the child welfare system works right now in our training um, and like the process that happens for um, from the time that suspected abuse or neglect is and someone makes a call to come into a foster home to reunification which is the goal in Washington state always that the child be re reunified with their parent um, because that's really what's best for the child to be with their family if it's safe, um, a safe environment for them. So, and that's our goal too. We're not in fostering to adopt necessarily, you know, if, if the right opportunity happens, that's fine. But we, we really just want to be parents right now and help out how we can. And that doesn't mean we have to be parents to the same person for their entire life. We're just happy to be a safe and loving home and safe and loving arms for the time that they need it. So, yeah. Um, soon I will do another video on my baby list, Hello Baby Box, and I'll give you some more updates on our foster license process. So yeah, that's all for now. Bye friends.